Hello everyone, in this video I'll be talking about the process of creating an animated gradient background along with the stunning text animation. But before don't forget to subscribe and be sure to like so that YouTube can offer you similar videos. And if you have an interest in After Effects and motion graphics and aspire to learn this skill basically and step by step, I recommend checking out my Motion Hero course. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into it. At first, I create a new composition which I had done beforehand, named Animated Gradient. After that, I need a solid. For that, I right click here and then under New, I choose Solid. Or I can hit Ctrl Y to open up the solid setting panel. I change its name to the background color. I choose black and hit OK. Then I go to the effects and presets panel and type gradient. I drag and drop the four color gradient effect onto the solid layer. Here we see four colors and each one of them has a location. And by dragging this location, I can adjust the position of these colors. Okay, to animate the background, first I go to the beginning of the timeline and create keyframes for the point values of these four colors. I select the solid and hit U so the keyframes would be visible to me. I head over to the fourth second and create keyframes once again. After that, I head back to the beginning of the timeline and change the position of these colors. Then I head to the fourth second and again change their position. To loop the animation of the gradient, in the second 8, I copy and paste the initial keyframes. Let's check it out. It's good so far. To fade these colors border and mix them together, I increase the blend property. As you can see, the colors have a smooth and blurred appearance. Aside from animating the position of colors, I also want to change the colors themselves. To do that, I go to the FX control panel and create keyframes for the colors. I select the layer and hit U to reveal all the keyframes. I've already prepared the color palette in advance, and I bring the color palette into my com so that we can choose the intended colors more easily and get results faster. But you can choose any color you like. Ok, I copy and paste it here. Again, I hit U and change the colors in the first second. Then in the next keyframes, I change the colors to something else. And to load the animation, I copy and paste the initial keyframes in the end. To make the colors stand out and be clearly visible at both the beginning and end of the loop, while seamlessly blending together in the middle of the animation, I head over to the blend property and create a keyframe for it at the start of the animation and set it to 5. And in second 4, I set it to 700. And to loop it, I go to the 8 second and set it to the initial value, which is 5. Let's check it out. I make the initial keyframes easy. Let's check it out one more time. It's good. After that, I can use this animation in my other projects and overlay text animations on it. Alright, so I go to the final comp and copy the things that I've made before and paste it here. I make them visible. Well, I want to animate the text as shown. Ok, for doing so, first thing first, I have to create a reflect layer. For that, I need to create a shape layer. First off, I deselect the layers and by the pen tool, create a shape like this. 
I open the shape layer. Under content, I duplicate the shape one. Then move it to the left just a bit. I want to make the second shape thinner, so I hold shift and select these two points, then drag them here. I name the layer Reflect. Then move it below the grade layer. To animate the reflect layer, first I open its position, then create a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline and move it to the left. Then after 50 frames, I create another keyframe and move the reflect layer to the right side of the screen. Alright, to make the reflect layer only appear in the text layer and not be visible outside it, I choose the create layer in the track mode column of the reflect layer. Let's check it out. I want the text layer to appear after the reflect layer moves across the text, but before that, the text must be hidden. For that, I duplicate the create layer, then move it below, and I do the same for the reflect layer. I set this to none, open it, and under content, I delete shape 2. And in the second keyframe, I pick up the pen tool, select these two points, and stretch it all the way here. Then I alpha met the second grade layer to reflect too. The second grade layer must be visible. Let's give it a look. Well, it's good. To make the text look better, I add a shadow to it. To do that, I go to the effects and presets panel and type drop shadow. I drag and drop it onto grade 2. I move the indicator so I can see the text. I increase the distance. 23 seems good to me. And I increase the softness too. I think 42 should suffice. To loop the animation, I want to create an output animation so that the text disappears after it appears. To do that, I select the two layers of the reflect and hit the U button to see the keyframes. I copy these two keyframes, move forward a bit, and paste them at the end of the animation. I limit the work area to the second 8. And I move the initial keyframe slightly ahead, making sure that the text appears with delay. And also move these two keyframes back a bit. I make these keyframes easy ease. And reverse the last two keyframes. I do the same for the keyframes of the Reflect 2 layer. Let's take a look at it. It looks good. Now I want to have a faded version of the text on the background before the text animation starts. To do that, I duplicate the background color and rename it. After that, I choose the create layer as the matte layer for the new background. And move the PG create layer back a bit until it's visible on the background. Let's give it a look. Alright, it's looking good. Next, I want the BG Create layer to appear and fade in smoothly. To do that, I open its opacity, and at the beginning of the timeline, I create a keyframe for it. And after 20 frames forward, create another keyframe. Then I head back to the initial keyframe and set it to 0. And I copy and paste these two keyframes at the end of the animation and then reverse them. 
Now let's preview the results. Looks pretty good. For the animation of the wipes layer, you can apply the same process as we did for the create layer. Thanks for watching and if you are interested in learning more techniques, I suggest you check out this playlist.